What's going on, everybody? It's ZBC2001 bringing you guys a little 3v3 gameplay. I just hooked up with a couple of the um, subs today, and uh, we played some 3v3. This particular match, we spanked these guys. <laughs> we spanked them so bad, one guy bails out at the end. <clears throat> Anyways, so today we see in my area uh, Prometheus is finally being launched in theaters. I know it's probably been out everywhere else for a while now, but it just finally hit here. And I've been doing, you know, my backup research on all the fun stuff about aliens because it's been a while since I've watched them, but they are some of my favorite movies ever, ever. I love the first one. It's probably one of the scarier movies that I've seen in a while. And the second one, it was fun to watch. You know, you sat down, you listened to Hicks and Hudson and Vasquez and everybody, you know, just act like total idiots. They're jarheads. And... I ran into the script, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say one of my favorite lines from this entire movie, and here it is. It is uh, it's Hudson inside the uh, APC, whenever they're dropping down to go into the base, and he's talking to Ripley, and he's like, "Hey, Ripley." Oh no, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm gonna start it over here. Goes, I'm ready, man. Check it out. I am the ultimate badass. I am state of the badass art. You don't know. You don't, you do not want to fuck with me. Check it out. Hey, Ripley, don't worry. Me and my squad of ultimate badasses will protect you. Check it out. Independently targeting particle beam flailings. Whop! Fry half a city with this puppy. We got tactical smart missiles, phased plasma pulse rifles, RPGs. We got sonic electronic ball breakers. We got nukes. We got knives. We got sharp sticks. And then Apom goes over and says, knock it off, Hudson. But, I mean, that part in the movie was probably one of my, like, favorite just jokes. You know, just like, you know, show of a complete, basically a jarhead. No, no, no offense to any Marines out there, but, you know, everybody's got, like, a lingo. And, you know, I'm talking about this now because, obviously, Prometheus was launched here in my area today. And... Alien Colonial Marines is coming out very soon, and I am psyched about that, too, because it looks... I mean, just, it's Alien Colonial Marines. I've only been waiting for this game for, ah, I don't know, a couple of years now. And they were talking about, in the game, that they were going to have the Sonic Electronic Ball Buster, or Ball Breaker. And they, they were talking that, you know, what would this be? They were breaking it down at E3 about what would a Sonic Electronic Ball Breaker be? Well, they came up with the idea of it's going to be a bouncing Betty. So it's kind of kind of cool. You know, it does make sense now that, now that you say it because, you know, think about it. If you're a Marine, a Space Marine, and you had a bouncing Betty that was sonical and it was electronic, yada, 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 and it came up to about waist high, and boom, why not? It, wouldn't, it would be a ball breaker. That makes perfect sense. So sonic electronic ball breaker. And I just that that makes me laugh my ass off that it's a bouncing Betty because think about it, Sonic Electronic bouncing Betty, and you swap them around Sonic Electronic ball breaker. It makes perfect sense, you know, because everybody makes their own kind of jargon up for everything that they got going on. So I am that I figured I'd break that down for you guys because I thought that was pretty pretty fantastic. So I'm gonna attempt to go see Prometheus sometime in the next couple days and give you guys a review. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen if I'm going to be able to or not but I'm going to try to and you know give you guys a decent review but I mean all in all I'm going to tell you right now without seeing it it looks well worth watching because it it's I don't even know how to say this it, it just it looks well worth watching you know what I mean it looks like it's going to be everything that the uh, critics have been psyching it up for so I, I, I uh, you know, go see it. Definitely go see it. <laughs> and then listen for my review because it's going to be coming up as soon as I can go see it. But now, on to another thing. There was this game at E3 that actually uh, piqued my interest a lot called Watchdog. And I, uh, I really want to play it. I watched the, the, uh, the snippet of gameplay and the... And the and the commentary that they had on there on the, on the uh, E3 press conference, and it looks really good, honestly. A lot of, uh, looks more like a, a John Woo action flick, which is going to be cool. And there's another game, what is it called?
called Sleeping Dogs, I think, and it looks like a Japanese Yakuza or a Chinese Triad type deal. I think it was a Chinese Triad type deal. And that looks really good, too. It looks kind of like um, GTA. And, you know, Max Payne-ish mixed together, which is going to be really cool. I, I think I am going to check those games out as soon as they come out. I don't know when they're going to come out. Let's just see that headshot. That was awesome. Anyways, I'm not sure when exactly they're coming out because I didn't catch the date on them. But, I mean, as it sits, February of next year is going to be a very, very busy month for me because Alien Colonial Marines comes out and Dead Space 2, 3 comes out. And that's going to be about it for me during those two months. I'm going to be playing the shit out of those games. And I think the next month, another really, really... Oh, oh The Last of Us comes out. And later on this month, another really cool game's g game comes out. And you know what? For some freaking reason, I can't remember the name of the game. Let's see if I wrote it down somewhere. Um... You know, I don't even remember the name of the game. I'll actually, uh, my next video, I'll talk more about the game that's coming out later this month. Oh, Resident Evil 6. Duh. Ugh. I'm sorry. My brain's having, uh, minor malfunctions today. Anyways, Res Resident Evil 6 comes out later this year, <coughs> and I'm going to be checking it out. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it and play the shit out of it because I, I love the Resident Evils. You know, as much as everybody knocks 5, 5 actually had a really good storyline. It had... Gameplay was kind of horrendous. Um, it wasn't the greatest, but I did enjoy playing it. And really, when it comes down to it, what what I really base off what a game you know what game I'm playing is if I actually enjoy playing it. Because if I don't enjoy playing it, then I'm not really going to play it. But if I really enjoy a game series, I will give every single one of those games a try. To you know, somewhat impress me. I've beaten five. I actually I have like 900 points of the achievements on it. I don't have the versus mode because it's horrendous. But I do have everything. You know, just about everything else. Anything else you can do in there. I do have all the DLCs downloaded, which are pretty fantastic. And you know, I'm working on the achievements slowly but surely. I'll I'll get all the achievements on it because I do I do a little bit of achievement whoring, not a lot of it. But on that note. Six is coming out very soon, and finally, we're going to have Leon and Chris in the same game. And that's, it's about time, you know what I mean? It is really about time we get those two in the same game. And then, like, Wesker's kid? How did Wesker not know he, not know he had a kid? Or did he know and just try to keep the kid safe? safe? Who knows? I mean, that, that's, that's what we'll find out eventually. So, listen, let me, uh, you guys, let me know what you guys wanted to... What y'all thought was the best part about E3. I know a lot of people had a negative feelings about the Wii U, but I, I think it was pretty fantastic. I mean, look at this horrendous kill. Anyways, I thought it was pretty fantastic. I really did. It is a great idea. It has, like, a subscreen you can interface with and all that stuff. Like, uh, Bat Batman um, Arkham City uh, Armored Edition. Your 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 utility belt is on the little control on the controller, which cool, hell yeah, and you can continue playing if somebody else wants to watch something without using the TV. That makes the Wii U awesome to me. I, now they need to step up their game selection, and uh, they probably will eventually. But we'll see what happens once it comes out. You know, we can only tell what's going to happen once it comes out, because if it, you know. If everybody just shoots it down right away because it's, you know, it's just the Wii, they don't have very many good games, it's, you know, directed towards uh, families and children, it's, you're going to shoot it down. It has the possibility of being a really good system. So, leave me your opinion. What did you guys enjoy the most? This is ZBC. 